welcome back to my channel. Today we are using the Wet n Wild Dewy Photo Focus Foundation. Uh, I haven't tried this one before, but I am excited to try this one. I haven't tried the original at all yet, so I'm more normal to dry skin. I thought this one would be better. I know it's gotten really good reviews, so I was really excited to try it. Today we're gonna do uh, an application and also a wear test, so I'll be checking in with you guys later on today. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I am going to put some primer on. The skin is already prepped, so my skincare, uh, sunscreen, everything like that. I am going to try to keep a drugstore today. I don't have everything wet and wild, but I will keep everything drugstore, just kind of in the same price point. I am gonna use my tried and true poreless putty primer from e.l.f. Okay, next up, we're gonna try this Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Dewy Foundation, and I have the shade Soft Beige. So I actually haven't used this stuff before ever, um, not even the original formula. It's not something I had tried. So this is kind of news to me, this paddle, and I know I've seen it online, but this is the first time I've actually used the paddle, so I'm going to just swipe it on here. Not exactly sure how I'm supposed to be doing this, but I imagine something a little like war paint. Did I? Oh. Okay. I think, I think that looks about right. And if not, then that's okay. Well, we can always ladle on some more. So today I'm gonna use uh, my beauty blender to kind of get that on there. So that actually looks like light coverage. I'm sure it's buildable. Let's try, we are gonna add more. And typically I wouldn't add that much foundation. I don't, I'm not a person who pumps more than one pump on really. Uh, usually it's just one coat for me. I'm gonna give it another pump because I feel like that coverage is pretty light, even light for me. I'd like a little bit more coverage and granted, once I put concealer on there, it might help with the coverage a little bit as well, but I just want just a, just a little bit more. I'm liking that a lot more now. I just needed a little bit more on the cheeks to help with coverage there, cover up some pigmentation, hyperpigmentation and melasma, but on the forehead, I didn't really add any more. I typically don't put that much on the forehead. I have some fine lines and wrinkles up there, so that's the least amount of product for me as far as foundation. I don't put that much on there. So now I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm gonna use this in two different shades, one for my under eye and then one to cover up some problem areas I'm having. So I use the shade number 25 in medium for my dark spots or anything I really want to cover up. And then for my under eye, I am using shade 15. Okay, I think that worked really well. And now I'm gonna go in with the number 15 under my under eye. really liking this Maybelline Fit Me. Uh, color wise, number 15 and 25 just work perfectly. And I feel like for my skin, it is very rare that I find a concealer shade that fits me the first go around. And both of these were a home run from the first time I bought them. So that's been really great. So if you are similar in color and tone to me, 15 and 25, that's my jam. All right, next up, I am going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Um, I have tried this in the past. I do like it. It's a very finely milled powder. I think this is just five or six dollars. I'll link the price um, down below, but I just love this so much. I think it rivals high-end powders, maybe even better than high-end powders, really. I'm still using my little baby blend fold to do this. Sometimes I'll use a brush, but recently 
I have been just using this for my under eye and it's been working out really well. I like it. Funny face. Now I'm gonna powder the rest of my face here. I'm gonna take whatever was left in the cap a little bit already and just powder all over. Now I'm going to give it a spray here. We're gonna use this, it's a prep set refresh. I only use it for a setting spray, but it looks like you can use it before or after, anytime during the process. This is my favorite part, by the way. In the past when I've used these, it's hit or miss. They make some of the best sprayers if you get one with a good spray that's not defective, but I have gotten some that were not consistent. This one is good, which is great. I just bought this one. It, it does a really, really fine mist and I love it. But if you get a bad one, it's gonna be terrible. I don't know if there's any Golden Girls fans out there, but check this out. It's huge, <gasps> but I love it. You kind of can't see it on camera. I love this thing so much. Now I'm going to finish the rest of my face. We're gonna do bronzer, shadow. We're gonna keep it all drugstore. I'll link everything I use in the description box down below. Is what it looks like in natural light. See you in a few hours. So that's what the makeup looks like right now. Um, I did have it kind of get cakey and crack a little bit around here which is actually not normal for me because I have normal to dry skin, but maybe I was touching my face a lot today. Um, I was editing earlier, so it's very possible that maybe I was just touching my face more than normal. Um, everything else looks pretty good so far, I think. So we'll see. Alright guys, so it is the end of the night. This is what the makeup looks like right now. I had to tie up my hair, I took off the lashes. I was over it. I wanted to take off my makeup a lot earlier. I've had this on for just about 10 hours and I was over it a long time ago, but I wanted to see how long it would last. So around this area right here, it has not held up well, but Again, that's, I mean, it's been almost 10 hours. So I think that's to be expected for the price point. I think the foundation held up great. Most of the day, I really liked the look, but I am ready for bed. I've got my Golden Girls shirt on. I just love this thing. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I'm a huge Golden Girls fan. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you wanna see what's coming up next. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you next time. Bye guys.